hello there guys and welcome back to another video. Um, on this Python video we're going to be going over something that um, was brought to my attention which I believe could be the problem with someone's code that they're talking about in my comments. Um, and so I just wanted to address it now and uh, just um, give a sort of explanation on that. Um, so what we're going to go do first is we're going to define um, a variable. So we're going to go player um, style. This is in the sense of, say, making a, um, <coughs> an RPG game or something where you have to pick a different character class, say mage, ranger, warrior, um, so on. Um, and so what we're going to do first is if, um, and so uh, we have an input, so user in, this in, ca in, this, in this case it's going to be instead of buttons because I can't be bothered doing a graphical interface. Um, for a small tutorial like this, um, but yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it as integers, so the user can input a number between 1 and 3 to pick their class, so if <coughs> user in is equal to um, 1, then um, player style is equal to 1. Elif user in is equal to 2. Player style is equal to 2 also. Or Elif player, uh, sorry, user in is equal to 2, uh, 3 then uh, player style is equal to equal to 3. Um, and so what this is going to do is when the user types their choice, say 1, 2, or 3, it's going to set that to an integer um, and then it's going to check whether that integer is um, is corresponding to one of the three values. Else print. Um, we're not going to actually do it, make it uh, repeat here. It's just going to close because it's not really a code that I'm going to use for anything. I don't think. Um, okay, so what it's going to do is it's going to set it's going to set the player style to uh, whatever. So if we put down here print player style, and we go ahead and run this code, you can see that it's asking for our choice. So if we input say one, you'll see it outputs one as the player style is now one. If we repeat this input two, the player style is now two, and if we put in three the player style is now 3. Alright, so back to the code. What we're aiming for here is um, to have a sort of code that decides which you are. So what we're going to do is we're then going to have a function called class, uh, sorry, define class selection. Um, and what it's going to do here is it's going to pass in one parameter which is going to be, uh, I say x, I don't I think that's easiest. Um, and we're going to call down here, we're going to um, call it here with passing in player style. So player style is being assigned to the variable x within the function. So if um, player, if x is equal to 1, print you have, oh, sorry, I need speech marks. You have select, selected. Um, warrior. Um, and now we go to the next one, we go elif uh, x is equal to 2. Um, we want to print pretty much the same thing except we want to say, say ranger. Um, uh, you have selected ranger. Um, elif um, and we need another elif. So elif x is equal to 3 print you have selected mage. Um, Alright, so that's the three options you have, warrior, ranger and mage, say. Um, and obviously it's going to pass into class selection all the time, um, even if it's not valid. Um, I guess we could put if player style is not equal to zero, then 
um, it will call that, otherwise it won't run it. Um, and so we won't get an error because nothing would be printed out of here. Um, okay, <clears throat> so that's checking if player style is not equal to zero. Um, obviously that's not going to be necessary for your code because you're probably going to have a preset for say a one, two, or a three. Um, but it's going to be uh, working in this sense that it questions it. Um, now something else you need to check when you're doing this is that you're assigning a variable here as an integer. So that's an integer and a string is obviously um, something with uh, speech marks around it. Um, and so you're not having like these here, say uh, these here being strings. And then that string there is being passed into the function. So player style is a string of one being compared to an integer of one because um, this is not equal these are not equal because this is a string of one and this is an integer of one um, which are two different things and that's something you've got to watch out for um, <coughs> so x make sure x is being passed in as the same type because I feel like it's possible for some people to not click kind of about those changes, so subtle changes um, in the type of the variable um, and therefore those will not, um, because I mean if I chuck this here and we go run the code, you will realize if I type 1 it will not output anything because it's comparing a string to an integer um, and if I put 2 it does uh, work. So there's those subtle differences that you have to watch out for and that's something I feel like someone that's new to Python may have problems with. Um, <coughs> so you can either fix it by having this set to, if you want it to set to this, at least change this variable here to an integer with a, a call like that, or um, actually that doesn't work. You'd want it to be changed here probably. But that's just way more typing, um, and that doesn't seem to... Oh that's broken because of that. Alright, there we go. So that's what you want to do. But um, it's easier just to remove the speech marks from up there and have all integers rather than um, strings. Obviously you could you could use strings, but if you're going to do that, you'd want to put a spring there and then a string here. And so that would be equal because a string is equal to a string. But that's not what we're going for. Um, and that's not what we need, so the numbers work fine. <coughs> Alright, so that's it for this video. Um, I hope it helped. Um, obviously, if you have any suggestions for future videos, uh, do leave them in the comments below. Um, and, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Alright, hello there, guys. Um, you've obviously made it to the end of the video, uh, so you've obviously enjoyed it, or had to watch the whole thing at least. So if you could consider subscribing, that would be a great help to my channel. Um, if you have any suggestions for future videos, make sure to drop them in the comments below. Um, like the video to show your support uh, to me so that I can know whether you like the content that I'm making. Um, and yeah, hope to see you in the next video.